So in this video, we are going to learn how to share WordPress post on Instagram automatically. Now suppose guys, you are a blogger and on a regular basis, you keep on posting new blogs, new posts on your WordPress site. And you want that whenever a new post is published on your WordPress site, you want to promote that post. So you want to share a Instagram post with the same content, same blog related details on your Instagram profile as well. Now guys, let me tell you, you can completely automate this process. So using this automation, whenever a new post will be published on your WordPress site, automatically the thumbnail and the title which we have used in this post, using those details, we are going to create a new post on our Instagram profile as well. Now suppose you have added your WordPress website link in bio. So you can also write a caption like the link is in the bio and you can mention the title of the post and you can post the image or the thumbnail of the post as well on Instagram. Now how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Public Connect's dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Public Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Public Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name our workflow as WordPress to Instagram. And then just click on create. Now you can see that a workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first, we have to connect our WordPress account, our WordPress site with Pavli Connect so that all the new blogs which we are posting on our WordPress site, we can get the details of all of those new posts inside Pavli Connect. And after that, using Pavli Connect, we are going to send those details to Instagram. So using that blogs or that post image and title, we can create or share a post on our Instagram profile as well that too automatically. So let's begin guys. Now here in trigger window in choose app, search for WordPress, select WordPress. And then in trigger event from the drop down, select the trigger event as new post publish, just select it. After selecting a trigger event, here you can see that Pavli Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now using this webhook URL, we are going to connect our WordPress account, our WordPress site with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, you just have to follow the help text given below over here. So guys, what we have to do? First, we have to install a plugin named as WP Webhooks in our WordPress site. Now to do so, just go to your WordPress account, your WordPress site, and from the left side, just hover on this plugins option. And then by clicking on this add new button, you just have to search for WP Webhooks, that plugin, and then you have to install that same plugin over here in your WordPress site. I have already installed it, so let me show you. So here, let's search for WP Webhooks. And yes, here you can see that this plugin is already installed. You just have to install this same plugin into your WordPress site. And after installing it, what you have to do in the next step, you just have to go to a settings option. And then here you can see WP Webhooks. This option can be seen over here. Just click on WP Webhooks. After clicking on WP Webhooks, you will reach to this page. And then here after reaching to this page, just click on this send data option. And then just scroll down. And here on the left side, you can see a list of different events can be seen over here. Out of all of these different events, what you have to do, you have to select the event as post created. Just select this event and then click on this add webhook URL button. Now in this box, we just have to give this webhook URL a name and then paste the webhook URL. So for example, I'll name this webhook URL as Pavli. And then to paste this webhook URL, we just have to copy the webhook URL from Pavli Connect from here. And then we just have to paste it over here in WordPress and click on add for post create. And it is done. Just now you can see that we have added a new webhook URL in our WordPress site. Here you, you can see that this is the same webhook URL. And guys, after adding this webhook URL, we have to configure it as well. So we just have to click on these three dots in front of it and then click on settings. After clicking on settings, this box appears in front of us. The first thing it asks us is the trigger on selected post type that on publishing or on happening of an event of what kind of post we want to get the data in Pavli Connect. So here guys, we want the details for this post. So just select post over here 
And then the next thing it asks us is trigger on initial post status. That what should be the status of the post when we want to receive the data in Pavli Connect. So we want the status to be published. That whenever a post is published, we want this webhook URL to send data to Pavli Connect. So after selecting both of these things, we just have to scroll down and click on save settings. And then we can see that we have just now saved the settings as well. So we have successfully added this webhook URL in our WordPress site. Now, every time we are going to create a new post in WordPress, the details of that newly shared or published post will be captured inside Pavli Connect. So guys, here we are going to do the same. What we are going to do, we are going to create a new post in WordPress. For that, let's go to post section and click on add new. After clicking on add new, let's give this post a title. For example, I'll name this post as social media, a blog on social media. This is the title of this post, just a random title. And here, here, let me enter some content of this particular post. So I have already copied the content. Just let me paste it. And this is the blog. This is the post which we are creating. After this, let's add an image to this post as well. For that, just scroll down, come to this featured image option, click on set featured image, select upload, upload the file. So I have this image file, which I want to post with this or share with this post. So I'll just upload this over here and then click on set feature image. So just now we have also added an image to this post as well. Now after creating the post, after entering all the details of a new post, just click on this publish button. And now we will see that this post will be published on our WordPress site. And it is done. So just now we can see that this post has been published on our WordPress site and this is the URL. When you click on this URL, we will see that it will take you to the page of this same post. So here we can see this is the same image. We have the same title and also the same content, the same post, which we have just now created in our WordPress account. So here guys, we will see that a new post is published. And because we have connected our WordPress site with Pavli Connect using the webhook URL, we will see the details of the same post will also be captured inside Pavli Connect. So we will go to Pavli Connect and yes, guys, here you can see that a new response is received from WordPress. When you will scroll to this response, you will see all the details of this post. So here guys, you can see the image of the, the URL of the image of the post. Let's copy this URL from here. Go to a new tab, paste it over here, and we can see the same image which we have added in the post can be seen. After this, you, here you can see the post permanent link. So this is the link of the post. When you will post this link in a new tab, you can see the post appears in front of us. And this is it. Now, after this, when you will scroll down further, we will see other details of the same post as well. Like we have the title of the post. Then after that, we have the date and time that at what date and time this post was published. Then we also have the complete content of the post, which we have shared and all. Now, this means guys, we have successfully connected our WordPress site with Pavli Connect and received the data of new posts from WordPress in our Pavli Connect workflow. Now, in the next step, what we have to do, we have to share the image of the same post with the post title on our Instagram profile. Now, to do so, we just have to scroll down, come to our action window, and here in Choose app, we have to search for Instagram. Select Instagram for business. And then an action event from the drop down, select the action event as publish photo. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our Instagram account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, click on this connect with Instagram for business button. And because guys, I have logged into my Instagram account in my browser, Pavli Connect has detected the same account and made the connection. Now after making this connection, it is most likely possible that you may have created multiple accounts over here. So from the drop down, you have to select your Instagram account that on what profile on what account do you want to create or share this post. Then after that, the next thing it asks us is the photo URL. That what is the URL of the picture which we want to post on Instagram. So from WordPress guys, we have received the details of a new post which we have created. And in that response, we have also received the URL, the link of the post thumbnail, the thumbnail image. And we are going to post the same image on Instagram as well. So what we have to do, we have to actually map the same response of post thumbnail over here in this field of photo URL. So here guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and from the drop down below, select the response of the thumbnail URL. So this is the response, just select it and map it over here. After this, the next thing it asks us is the caption that what will be the caption for this post. 
So we want to add the title of the blog post, the title of the blog, which we have shared on WordPress as the caption. So here we have the response of the blog title. This is it. And we have to map this response of blog title over here. Just click on this field and from the drop down, select and map the response. So here it is. And after mapping this, just click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received some response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the image URL and the caption which we have added over here, which we have mapped over here. Basically, the thumbnail image of our WordPress post and its title is been shared as a new post on our Instagram profile. So let's check it. We will go to Instagram and we will refresh our profile page once. And yes, guys, here you can see that on our Instagram profile, a new post is being shared. And this is the exact same image which we have added as a thumbnail on our WordPress post. So this is the same image. And here in the Instagram post, we can see that we have the same caption, the same title of the blog or the post which we have added. We have the same title as the caption, a blog on social media. Now this means guys, the automation workflow which we have created using Pavli Connect or between WordPress and Instagram is working perfectly fine. So whenever we are going to create or publish a new post in WordPress, automatically the thumbnail and the title of that post will be shared as a new post from our Instagram account as well. So guys, not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications using Pavli Connect. And guys, one more important thing, you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Pavli Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pavli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestion and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.